Welcome back, you guys, uh, for another video all about Squarespace. My name is Cinnamon Wolf. I'm a photo editor and business coach for photographers and small creative business owners and a little bit of a Squarespace ninja. So today's video, we're going to be talking all about Squarespace analytics and what you should be looking for and uh, maybe some suggestions on how you can take that information from those analytics and use them to your advantage. Okay, so I'm going to pull up the back end of my website. Um, I'm logged in to my website. You can see my uh, navigation bar over here. We are going to go straight into the analytics tab so we can just get looking at this information. So the three things we're going to be talking about today is traffic, uh, traffic sources, and our Google search keywords. So let's look at traffic first. This is going to give you just a nice overview of the general traffic for your website. So you can kind of see if the, how the trend is going. Is it going up? Is it going down? We can see that my traffic is doing pretty good. It kind of dips and then it goes back up and then it dips and then it up, but it is kind of on a downward trend. So that might be something that I want to look at to determine kind of what's going on. You can change um, the the date range to see kind of, you know, what's been going on in the past year. Um, year to date, obviously, we're in February right now. So um, the year to date is only going to be a couple of months of information. I'm not really sure why this is taking so long to update today. It, it has been a little slow when I'm changing information here. Um, but you can see yeah year to date starting January 1st, we had a little bit of a spike and we're on a little bit of a downward trend. So I might need to look at what's going on, where my traffic is coming from, and maybe look at why it's dipping a little bit. So let's go back to the 30 day view. Actually, let's not change it just in case. So down here, you can see we have device type, uh, source, browser and operating system. Um, most people are visiting my website from a desktop more so than mobile. Um, Google is my main source of traffic, Pinterest following and Chrome is the best browser out there. So no surprise that that is the top browser. So let's take a look at the traffic sources tab. So this is very interesting and can be very enlightening for you to see kind of where the traffic for your website is actually coming from. So you can see that you have options here to look at search, social, direct, referral, and email. So definitely the most of my traffic is coming from search and it's going to be coming mostly from Google. A little bit from Bing, a little bit from other places as well, but mainly it's coming from Google. So I know that I need to keep my efforts on showing up in Google search results. Now social, you're going to see that Pinterest is definitely going to be the number one referral source for me. Um, Google, I mean, Pinterest is kind of like a search. Um, it's kind of like uh, Google as well. I don't actually know why it's in social because it's not really a social um, media, but that's how a lot of the analytics actually categorize it in social. So the main uh, portion of my traffic is coming from Pinterest. So I know to keep up my efforts there because it's working. Um, also coming from Facebook and a little bit from Instagram. And then I have just a few results from some of these other things that I don't actually put any effort into, but I still get a very small amount of traffic from those. Uh, let's see, direct, let's look at referral actually. So referral, this is other websites that have your link on them that are sending you traffic. So most of these are going to be different versions of Pinterest, but you can see that I have a little bit here coming from Creative at Heart Conference, a little bit coming from Vanessa Kynes because I wrote a guest blog from her. A little bit coming from Designs by Bittersweet, Launch Your Daydream. So I can see where some traffic is coming in from that's located on other people's websites. So sometimes if you see a spike in traffic, you might be like, where is this traffic coming from? This is a really easy way to see potentially where that traffic might be coming from that you didn't actually even know that your link was included on a popular website. And then of course, email here down at the bottom, those are just, it's not really anything too exciting. So we won't talk too much about that. Now, Google search keywords, this is really interesting. And you do have to link um, your site up through Google search console. And that's just something quick you do, um, as long as you have an, ac an account with Google search console. But this is a really great way for you to see what type of terms are actually driving traffic to your website, what search words. So you can see here on my website that Squarespace hacks is my number number one uh, search keyword. Um, out of 200 
177 impressions. I've actually got 112 clicks and my site is located at the very top of the page. So you can see this average position right here. It says here the average position of the topmost result from your site. So for example, if your site has three results at positions two, four, and six, and that's positions within Google search, the position is reported at two. So from this, I should be able to know that this search term is pulling something up on the first page of Google. So let's take a quick look at that. I'm going to pull up an incognito window and I'm just going to search Squarespace hacks. And you can see that my blog post actually pulls up in the number one spot, 20 super duper awesome Squarespace hacks it's right here in that top site or top position on Google search. So I can tell that that's a great keyword for me. That's that blog post is really working for that. And maybe I need to factor that into some other blogs. Um, Squarespace for blogging is also coming up as a, a really good search term. Squarespace blog, how to start a photography business. I can tell that these are some really great um, search terms that are performing really well for me. Now, if we go back to, let me see if I can find, um, popular content. Oh, here it is. Yeah, we're going to look at this one too, because this is a great way under popular content for you to see what pages on your website are actually performing really, really well. Now, this is no surprise to me that my 20 super duper awesome Squarespace hacks blog post is performing the best out of all pages on my website. And my 30 to do steps before starting your photography business is my second most popular piece of content. So I know that these pieces of content are really resonating with other people or with, with searchers on the internet. And so I can use that information to then look at other content that I might want to prepare, or I can really start to drive even more traffic to these and start to optimize them by including an opt-in, maybe including some sort of passive income product off of these different things, um, because these are really driving a lot of traffic to my website. So this under the popular content tab, you can really see mo your most popular information on your website, and then you can utilize that information to then make more decisions about what you want to do on your website and how you want to continue driving traffic to your website. So I hope that you found that information helpful. Again, this is all into the analytics tab of your Squarespace website. And if you have any questions, pop it in the comments below and feel free to give this video a like if you enjoyed it. I would love it if you would subscribe and even hit that notification bell. So every time I record a new video, you get notified. So I hope to see you um, over on my website and uh, we'll talk soon. Bye-bye.